what's up everyone this is marian welcome back to the channel and uh, today i'm going to talk about uh, uh, the users uh, in detail which is the active users contacts and deleted users and i'll go o- over the uh, guest users for uh, another video because uh, that's a little interesting and uh, you might uh, like it uh, better better than the others all right so here we are on the uh, portal the uh, office 365 portal i'm going to click on active users and uh, the last time we saw an overview of the admin center and uh, now uh, i'm going to show you how to create an user uh, when you click on add a user this comes up okay and uh, you can give a name for this first name last name display name can be anything okay and then uh, display name can be same as the username and marian testing.onmicrosoft.com if you have uh, several domains you can choose by clicking here and you can choose your location and uh, you can enter the contact information job title okay and uh, department office so on and so forth okay you've got lots of options here you can go over it password you can create it okay and uh, you can also make the user change their password when they first sign in okay and if you give an auto generated password uh the password gets uh, mailed to you all right and uh, roles you can give them empty number of roles okay a user with no administrator access is nothing but a normal user with no admin access he will not have access to the admin center to any admin centers to be precise all right global administrator is like this account it's got admin access to skype administrator i mean he 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 can be a skype admin uh an azure admin an exchange admin shapoin admin so on and so forth all right and uh you can give that access okay you can read this here it's going to give you some detail and a customized administrator is nothing but a, a particular admin okay uh an admin who is specialized in a specific uh, department say if he is a billing uh, expert uh or a billing admin you can select this and you can give him a billing administrator's uh, um well privilege okay and uh, you can also give him an exchange administrator at the same time so he might be having uh, access to two admin centers all right so you've got lots of admin uh, rights over here and you can uh, click one of them but i'm going to go with the user let's keep it simple and you can enter an alternate email address okay i'm not going to do it now and finally you need to assign a license and uh, since i have only one license this is a test account which is a business premium i'm going to assign this and then i'm going to add new user is getting created it's created so this is the password okay so send password and email it goes to your email address not to the user's email address because user hasn't logged in yet right so you can go up to the new user or probably you can ask him to come to you and you can give him this email address and the password okay and uh, you can ask him to log into outlook.office365.com forward slash owa so he can get in i'm going to click on send email and close but before that when you scroll down we've got other options like add another user edit details for this user all right and you can also click this this might be a little interesting for you i'm going to click on send email and it's gone boom and that's active user and click on more you can import multiple users from an excel file okay you can upload the csv and uh, you can verify and can hit next okay and uh, 
uh, back in those days it used to be a little difficult but they made it very simple right now so they've given you uh, a sample csv with headers only and download a sample csv with headers and sample user information let's uh, uh, take a look at this apologize i don't have uh, um, an excel uh, online install so what i'm going to do is i'm going to oops i don't have uh, an account okay so let's do this i'm gonna click close did i save my password here nope i did not so this is the user reset password let me create mm, say no to this never copy this open in incognito I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, upload this file onto cloud and then can view through Excel online this is pretty bad but I want to show this to you whatever oops okay so you need to choose India and you need to choose your time zone if you are from India. From US, if it's US, it's US, okay. It's so a new message. Hmm, not interested. Browse this computer. Downloads. Let me quickly look out for import user. Send yourself an email. get sent and can preview <laughs> all right so here's the thing open a new window should be uh, maximized okay so here you have uh, double click on this okay You've got username first name last name display name job title department office number phone number certain fields are very mandatory like username and a uh, first and last name is also not mandatory okay you can fill in all these information and you can import a user you see what I'm saying so let me try to import this how about that huh okay so I just wanted to show you how the sample looks like let me minimize this what happened to this I'll close this close it more okay I've checked this okay so if I check it it's gonna give you options to edit contact product license all these things uncheck it click more import multiple user delete user reset all these things okay let's browse download import user sample verify there are problems okay download logs you can see logs and find out what the problem is okay so I have not I have not changed anything right so maybe that's the reason let's see what the log file says invalid domain or okay so there you go so you need to change the username and I think I saw contaso contaso.com so that's the problem 
okay so if you change that i think it will not be a problem i'm not willing to do it so the thing is you understood what has to be done right so when you hit next it's going to uh, ask you for the subscription just uh, check on the subscription and your know, user gets imported that's it and there you go and you can choose the view and search for users and license users only two okay guest users none we'll see this on the next tutorial so like that you can choose global admin only one admin is there so you can choose your views and you can choose the users that way it becomes easy marian search by the name get to two users you can export this as well so this is just that simple just want to add an email you can click all these things and it's pretty useful and interesting contacts it's pretty self explanatory you can add a contact all right and you can also import contact from a csv file how do you do that let me see okay so that's going to be a different one all right so uh, that's uh, call a mail user so we'll come up to that uh, or a separate one hmm okay and refresh check close okay first name last name email contact information all these things hide from global address list yes or no okay so if you hide it it won't be appeared in the gal so that's that it's pretty simple okay and uh you got to go to people in order to do the other one okay so this does not have a uh, a mailbox so this is contacts and we already have one which is over here okay and by the way that's not my email address and deleted users okay you can delete users active users all these things okay say for instance i'm going to delete this user delete user okay license can be removed give another okay it's going to ask you if you need to give uh, access uh give another user access to man's uh, one drive files and the same goes for the mailbox you don't leave a check on it if you leave a check on it you might want to select a user okay so without leaving a check on it click delete and then it's going to say keep all licenses and assign to other users delete one drive for business data you have just 30 days to recover it okay deleted users says just for 30 days and i'll tell you more about deleted users in the upcoming videos let's keep it simple this time go to click on close and when you go to deleted users you will find this so you can restore it and it goes back okay so let's keep it auto generated at home middle with it right now and send email and close i don't have a mailbox that's pretty good so what's a deleted user Okay, deleted user. When you when you go to admin center, when you click on the users and delete it, it's a deleted user. Okay, be it an old admin center or new admin center, and restore a user. You saw how to restore a user, right? And uh, does deleting a user free up the face uh, license? Yes, it does. It frees up the license, and you can assign the same license to some other user. All right, and that mailbox stays there for thirty days. Okay, you can restore it. You can bring it back. Beyond thirty days, it goes to another state. Let's talk about it later. You've got litigation hold and all these things. Okay, but uh, in spite of uh, deleting the user, you can free up the licenses from the subscriptions. Say, for example, you have five users, five licenses, and you delete one user, and you keep four users licensed, and one user gets deleted. You can go to the subscriptions. and you can minus 1 user okay and then that gets freed subscriptions
Okay, got a deprovisioned one, and uh, you can actually. Uh, um, this is a trial, so I'm not getting it. Okay, but uh, you can actually uh, when when you uh, pay for it, when it's there, what you can do is uh, you can minus one license and that gets uh, uh, subtracted and you only pay for four licenses in the case of five so that's that how long do I have if I want to restore a user I said it's uh, 30 days okay and do I lose all the users data when I delete them uh, it stays there for 30 days when you delete the user don't lose the data the users data is stored for 30 days when you restore the user within 30 days, the user's data gets restored. That's simple. How do I restore user? We saw that. Alright, so that covers the users. But I'm going to go over the guest users. I'm going to show you how you can create a guest user and invite a user uh, to manage your Office 365 uh, admin center or your portal. Alright. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.